Mega. So um, I'm just going to flip to a different tab to show you a um, Jupiter notebook that Martin O'Reilly, who unfortunately has had to go back and go do work at the Turing Institute, worked on. He, I'm a Staden, who is a research assistant with me, and I were part of the Springer Nature Hack Day a few months ago. And it was very short, it was probably about four or five hours. We had to do the presentations at about five o'clock. So it was, it was a really short period of time. But what we did is look at the prevalence of a particular word in, in this case, it was in the Spring of Full Text API, which we only had access to that day. But you can text mine uh, quite easily using this tool called Content Mine, the European PubMed Central database. So, and Isla did that, I just happened to have pulled up Martin's notebook. And what this does is it literally goes through and looks for the term GitHub in the repositories, uh, in the, sorry, in the, in the text of the published papers. And this is uh, the number of times that you see that word increasing over time. And Isla has a notebook that's already, in, it's in this repository somewhere. Um, that looks at the prevalence of Figshare DOIs or um, um, Zenodo DOIs and basically you know you can sort of take this idea of looking for citations to software and data but maybe not in proper citation format but maybe they're mentioned somewhere within the full text and what I would like to propose that we work on tomorrow is uh, well, it was came with it was an idea with the team actually. Sorry, um, is to sort of level that up a little bit. So one way in which we can level it up is to potentially build like a nice interface, so it's dead easy to kind of automatically mine that data. So if anyone's interested in building like a fun web interface to to sit on top of this, you would be extremely welcome. Um, and then the other aspect which I'm very excited about is potentially looking to see whether those links actually resolve. Because I've read many papers that say, this is where the data is, and then you just get a 404 error once you actually click on it. And it also fits very nicely in with Neil's second pitch about giving a quality of your code score. So that's kind of, I feel like for me, that's kind of a stretch goal because I'm pretty interested in just trying to provide evidence for how culture is changing and how behavior is changing over time. And going back and mining the literature is a really nice way to do that. But I'm also way into, if anyone's got ideas of integrating sort of quality metrics, you know, what metadata is available with the data for a study, um, and whether there's a cit citation file, and, and whether the code has tests or a license or a review or whatever else. So any sort of creativity around that is uh, super welcome. Thank you. <laughs>